Hey, this is Susie from Rockwall County Crochet. There are a whole bunch of new members that have joined, and I thought it would be a great idea to explain what you need in order to learn to crochet. Just a few things, and you'll be right on your way. First off, you'll need a skein of yarn, whatever color you want is fine. Okay? You will need a crochet hook. Okay? See how the hook turns? You just need one. And the crochet hook needs to match the size of your yarn. I'll go over that in just a second. You'll need a tapestry needle. Tapestry needles come in plastic or Metal, I prefer the metal ones because they can go into your work and they don't break as easily. And then, of course, you'll need some scissors to be able to cut the thread or the yarn whenever you are done with crocheting. Okay, let's talk how to pick out the proper yarn with the proper hook. Okay. Say I want to make a hat out of this beautiful yarn, okay? <clears throat> right here on the back, there are a list of things that you look for in order to make sure that it's the correct thing for your project, okay? Right here is a size 4. That means worsted weight yarn. Let me see if I can get closer. Medium worsted weight yarn. Okay, this next one is for knitting. See how it's got the two hooks or needles, the two needles. And then this one is for crocheting. It's got the one hook and it says you need a size 10 and a half or K hook. This one talks about how you wash it. Okay. Uh, it says machine wash and dry. This is 100% acrylic. Yarn comes in all different types of stuff. I use acrylic because I'm allergic to cotton. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the craft store and you're going to go to the yarn aisle and you pick out what color you want. Okay. Oh, look, this is pretty. And then you just look at this. You have a worsted weight, and you're going to go right here, and you get this size hook. Okay? That is the hook that you need in order to achieve whatever your project is that you're going to make. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and I'll be making some later as we progress on into our crocheting world. Talk to you later.